Hi. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Jamin Hu. I'm a co-founder at augmented reality startup Port6. I'm here today to show you how augmented reality has the ability to profoundly influence the human experience and how Port6 is trying its best to significantly improve that experience by bringing the sense of touch into these realities. So we at Port6, um, we think that when we boil things down to its essence, augmented reality is meant to directly shape our perception of reality. And I mean this quite seriously. Um, it's, a meta it's, a, it's an interface between our brain and the outside world with the ability to shape everything that we see, hear, and otherwise feel. That is what AR is. Um, and yeah, so um, for an example, maybe to uh, tease your appetite a little bit, uh, you could create uh, a device that could see everything that you can see, including a table in front of you, and it could modify that visual information coming into your head uh, to make it look like the entire table that was actually a, um, a tablet user interface. Now you have screens everywhere. Um, this basically destroys the need for all screens. Um, but also, uh, you could have it give you the ability to modify your room to change it into whatever you want, including moving it uh, and uh, carving it into the side of a cliff next to a majestic waterfall. Um, this is what I mean when I say that augmented reality could uh, profoundly influence the human experience because uh, it quite literally uh, is designed to shape our perception of reality itself. Now, to do all of this interfacing with all of our senses, um, it takes a lot of effort from a lot of different people, from uh, a lot of different backgrounds. So as Port 6, um, we are a young startup uh, from here in Helsinki. Our role in all of this is to make sure that whenever these devices come around, um, and however realistic their, uh, their, their visuals are or their audio are, that eventually when you go and interact with it, it would feel real to your hands. Uh, these interactions should uh, feel natural, should feel intuitive, um, uh, but still powerful so that even your grandmother uh, or even a monkey could use it. I mean, have you seen, like, so monkeys used Instagram. Have you seen that? Like, on a smartphone. That's something, anyway, that blew my mind. Uh, <laughs> so it should be like that. Um, and to do this, so we found that you need a specific emphasis on the sense of touch and, by, and to interface with the sense of touch. And this means both ways of doing it. So the first way is uh, the way you see on the left, which I would describe as synthesizing fake touch. And that's what haptics is usually referred to. Uh, this sort of fake but super realistic uh, click you feel when you press on the trackpad of a MacBook. For anyone who owns a MacBook, that's all fake. That's not a real click, it's haptics, right? But then the second side uh, of this uh, interaction coin, which is equally important, is the ability to detect real touch on real surfaces, sort of like what the capacitive touchscreen on your iPhone does. Um, this eventually, if we place this sort of sensor on the hand, it allows you to turn anything you touch into a touchscreen. Um, so at port six, um, we try to do both. Um, we started by making and testing a bunch of different interaction devices uh, with the purpose of figuring out exactly what sensing and actuating is needed for great interactions in augmented reality. And as a result, we have a collection of uh, the classic VR gloves, um, the, uh, some glovelets, so like half gloves, but we also have, uh, we have wristbands, and we have rings, we have ring slash wristbands, we have thimbles, and then we have some other things which are, yeah, anyway. Uh, but these are all touch sensitive. And so with them, for example, uh, you could uh, use a ring and put it on your index finger and turn it into a scroll bar like that. Now you have a scroll bar, which you can carry everywhere. But you could also wear a wristband and then press on a table to make it feel like uh, a dynamic shape-shifting keyboard surface without the need for real physical buttons. And then with thimbles, you can put them on your fingertips and just replace a mouse. Now you have a portable mouse you can use everywhere. Uh, with the right devices, you can do some things that truly feel surreal. Uh, so I invite you to our lab anytime to try, uh, try some of these things. 
Now, some of these prototypes are, uh, right, Touch SDK, ooh. Uh, uh, <laughs> some of these devices are still in the works. Some of these, there are still prototypes and will come about when the time is right. But in the meantime, we've decided to create a product uh, to get hackers and developers and other enthusiasts uh, already interfacing with this uh, sense of touch starting now. Uh, this uh, is something that uh, basically we're going to announce today. So I'm happy to share with you that today we are launching our Touch SDK, which is software that you can download onto your smartwatch um, that detects the exact moment you pinch your index finger and thumb together. Uh, yes, index and thumb together. Um, this is something that condenses everything that we've learned from our experiments uh, and packaged it into a simple and easily distributable form factor, our first product. So, yes, Touch SDK um, uh, detects the exact moment you impact um, your index and thumb together, and it does it uh, on the smartwatch continuously with under 100, second, uh, 100 millisecond latencies. And here you can see it being combined with eye tracking. Actually, could you play that again? So it's being combined with eye tracking to make the ultimate point and select device. This means that all Felix has to do here is look at the disk that he wants to flip over and then tap his fingers with our Touch SDK uh, to flip them over. This completely can replace the mouse in augmented reality. And here's another example. You could combine this Touch SDK and this touch sensitivity uh, with the smartwatch, uh, smartwatch's own orientation sensor to browse music from a distance while cooking. Um, so here, Emil is preparing for his dinner date. Uh, and then, look, he just points at the thing he wants to switch on, and then it switches on. Um, now, of course, these are just examples, but we can't wait to see what you come up with when you try it out yourselves. Yeah. Um, I truly think augmented reality has the ability to, to shape um, the human experience, because it blurs the line between what's real and what's not when done right. Uh, but to do it right, we need to interface with the sense of touch. That's what will make interactions feel real and believable. So this has been my introduction to you on the soul and purpose of augmented reality. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you want to feel augmented reality now with our Touch SDK uh, or sign up for our future hardware, go to port6.io. Thank you very much. Oh, also we're... We're also hiring, just so you know. Yeah.